We continue now at the top of Daf Tzadi Vav Amid Beis and Maseches Baba Basra. This is Baba Basra Daf ninety six B. And the previous summit, the Gemara had a machloka samoraim. What would happen if a person sells a barrel of wine to a buyer and it goes bad? It turns to vinegar. Rav says that for the first three days, it's the responsibility of the seller. After that, it's the responsibility of the buyer. And the Gemara here continues with the other opinion. Shmuel Amr and Shmuel says Chamra Kaspa Demari Shavor. The wine is carried on the shoulder of its owner, meaning to say it's actually the buyer's responsibility, even even within those first three days. And the Gemara continues Avad Rav Yosef Uvda Kavase Dera. Rav b'shichra uchavase d'shmol b'chamra. Rav Yosef he paskin like Rav when it came to beer, meaning he said that by beer the first three days is the responsibility of the seller, and he paskin like Shmuel when it came to wine, meaning by wine it's always the responsibility of the buyer. Behilchasa kavase d'shmol, and the Gemara says that the halach is like Shmuel that it's always going to be the responsibility of the buyer. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Tanu Rabban and the rabbis taught Echad Sheicher Tamarim Veechad Sheicher Saorim. Whether we're talking about beer from dates or whether we're talking about beer from barley, Veechad Shimre Yayin, or whether we're talking about Temed. Temed is made by pouring water over the sediment of grapes, and it creates, it captures the taste of the wine. In all of those situations, says the Brayso Mevarchen Aleihem Shahakol Niebid Varo. All of those get a bracha of Shahakol. Acherim Omrim. Others say Shemarim Sheyesh Bahem Tam Yayin. In that last case of Temed, when you have sediment and you use that. To get to capture the taste of the wine, mevarech aleihen bore priagafin. So then the bracha is bore priagafin according to the acherim. And the Gemara continues. Rabbi for Rav Yosef the Amri Tarvai who Rabbi and Rav Yosef they both say ein halacha keacherim. The halacha is not like the acherim. Rather the bracha is shahakol. And the Gemara continues. Amar Rava Rava says the kuli alma rama tilsa viyasa arba. Everybody agrees that if you take this water and you pour it over the sediments of the grapes. Let's say you take three cups of water and then out of that comes four cups, meaning the sediment of the grapes actually added so that not, so that now you have an additional cup. So chamrahu, that is certainly going to be wine because now it's actually drawn out clearly. It's drawn out from the actual sediments of the grapes. There's real wine in there. And why do we say that that's the proportion that's needed? Because Rava Latami, that's Rava according to his reasoning. The Yamar Rava, because Rava says, Kol chamru de lo dari al chad maya, lav chamru, any kind of wine that you don't have a proportion of a, a proportion of one to three in terms of water to wine, that's not considered to be wine. Meaning, Rav is saying that in general, that's how you dilute wine. The way you dilute wine is that you have one part is going to be wine and three parts are going to be water. So everybody would agree that that's considered to be like wine and the bracha would be hagafen. And the Gemara continues, Rama Tulasa Vyasa Tulasa. Let's say you poured the water over the sediment, you poured three cups, and then you, it emerged with just th- with only three cups. So then Velo Klumhu, that's nothing. It hasn't really taken anything other than the taste. There's nothing that's been added. It's still considered to be just water, and the Baracha will only be Shahakal. Ki Pligi, when is there a Machlokas? When do the Acherim and the Tanakam of the Brysa, when do they argue in terms of whether the Baracha is Bori Pragafan or Shahakal? The Rama Tulasa Vyasa Tulasa Palga. The case would be, let's say you have three three cups of water, and then when you pour it through the sediment, you end up with three and a half cups. Why is that a machlokis? And the Gemara explains, the Rabbonin Savri, that the Rabbonin of the Brisa, they hold Tulasa Ayel Tulasa Nafik. When you pour the three cups over the sediment, three cups of water go in and three cups come out, meaning nothing is actually absorbed by the sediment itself. And so Pashle Palga, so what you really have here is just an extra half of a cup. Upalga Bashisa Palga Mayas, if you have a half a cup among six half cups, Velo Klumhu, that's not enough, that's not enough of a proportion to say that it's considered wine. And that's why the Rabbonin say that the Brachish. Shahakal. The Acherim Savri and the others hold Tulosa Ol that when you pour three cups, so three cups go in, but Shrenu Palga Nafik, but some of that water actually gets absorbed and only two and a half come out. And so, therefore, what's really happening is an additional whole cup of wine, so to speak, has come out from the sediment and some of the water got absorbed into the sediment. So, Pashle Kuza, so now you have this extra cup. The Kuza betrayu Palga Chamra Ma'al Yehu. And if you have one cup among two and a half cups, so that already is the proper proportion to be considered like wine, and that's why we say in such a situation, according to the Acherim, that the bracha is bore priagafen. And the Gemara continues, is this really true? Is there really a machlokis when what comes out is more than what went in? Even if any amount more, the Gemara is now suggesting, that should be enough to make it bore priagafen. But we learned in the following Mishnah, this is a Mishnah in Maisros, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daftzadi Zayin Ahmed Aleph.